I bought an adventure bike recently. No dude, that's a dual sport. Wait, isn't it the same thing? Over the last few months, I've been getting blasted in the comments section on YouTube and rightfully so, for making the age old error of referring to dual sports as adventure bikes and vice versa. I've been using it interchangeably, but there's a difference between the two, a very distinct difference, which I'll explain in this video. It's important to know about the differences because when deciding on which bike you want, whether it's a dual sport or an adventure bike, knowing the key differences between the two will help you decide which bike may be the best for the type of riding you plan on doing. So basically, it all comes down to one thing. Dual sport bikes are lighter, have smaller engines, up to 650cc, and are generally more suited to off-road conditions. Adventure bikes, on the other hand, have big, powerful engines of 650cc or more, are much heavier, and feature electronic rider aids that make them safer and more comfortable touring on pavement. Dual sports have single cylinders with a displacement of less than 650cc, while adventure bikes usually have twin cylinders or more. Dual sports have a higher ground clearance, a lighter. The gearing is low for trails with a higher seat and a lighter frame to keep the bike lightweight. Adventure bikes have a larger tank capacity, stronger frame, high gearing for highway speeds, a lower, more comfortable seat, and a much more powerful engine. An example of an adventure bike would be the KTM 1290 Super Adventure. Powerful engine, much heavier, much more capable on the highway, but way harder to handle off-road. I believe the ideal bike is where the dual sport and adventure bikes meet, in the middle, in that gray area which we would refer to as middleweight adventure bikes. And if you've been watching my channel enough, you can guess which bike I'm going to give as an example of this. The Yamaha Tenere 700. A great mix of off-road performance and enough power to be able to handle the highways. This is why it's important to know the difference between dual sports and adventure bikes. You need to weigh up what kind of riding you will do primarily and then choose a motorcycle that fits your intended riding. If you're going to be doing 30% off-road and 70% on-road, then I'd recommend an adventure bike. But if you're mainly going to be riding on the road most of the time, then you'd want to consider a lightweight dual sport. For example, I recently went on a trip to the Simpson Desert, which was 1500 kilometers round trip on my motorcycle. I brought a Yamaha WR250R. And the reason I did this was because the route consisted of 1000 kilometers of gravel road and 500 kilometers of pure sand riding through the desert. And obviously because this is such an off-road orientated trip, I would bring a lightweight dual sport to it. But in the end, if you wanna be able to ride anything, then something like a Kawasaki KLR650, a 650cc single cylinder with great long travel suspension and ground clearance, or my all time favorite, the super capable Yamaha Tenere 700. With bikes like these, you'll be sure to dominate on-road and off-road and have a good time while doing it. And that's what adventure motorcycling is all about, enjoying the ride. And the only way that you can enjoy the ride is if you choose the right bike for the right road conditions. So I hope this video helped you guys. Make sure you subscribe.